Hello everyone. In today's video, we have another unboxing. Disclaimer, on this video, uh, it's only an unboxing video. It's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be a uh, review or a comparison video. I've never had a uh, camera like this before. As you all know, for the videos I use, I'm using I iPhone 15 Pro. Uh, so yeah, the box looks clean. Looks pretty premium to me at least. <laughs> Again, never had this before. Uh, yeah, let's uh, jump into it and uh, open the box. Is it open? <laughs> it's not sharp, by the way. All right, here we go. Let's see what's in here. What is this? I don't know what this is. Y'all could comment down below and let me know what this this piece of uh, uh, equipment is. Super excited for this. Waited for like four months for this to come in. This could be the charging uh, cables. First thing we see. We have the camera straps marked with A7R5. Very nice. Leather. Probably gonna use this. And over here, we have the battery charger. this probably another charging cable the USB-C uh, port and the battery itself well that's cool I know it's like illumination uh, green printing right on the spot right here. I know you guys can't see it, but when you guys do buy it, it's kind of neat. Ooh, and is that it? Ooh, and we have the camera itself. Super excited. Smell it. It smells premium. <laughs> Ooh, the A Sony A7 Mark V, everyone. Very cool. Very fancy. Very demure. Yeah. I'm excited for this flippity flop screen. That's smooth. Ooh, that's clean. I've seen other videos, A7 S3 has this kind of just flip-flop right here. <laughs> or flip it, flip screen. But this can articulate in uh, probably different axis ways. So we have that. And it looks like it comes out that way too. Very cool. Let's take a look at the mega sensor, 61 megapixels. This is gonna take some very sharp, stunning pictures. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. Well, I know we have an unboxing video of the camera, but we have another surprise here. So. That's the set. Pull this out. Ooh, like I said, guys, we have another surprise here for the unboxing video. Both of these came in together. 
and we have the Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 mark 2 art lens again disclaimer this is not a uh, review or comparison video this is my first impression uh, as a beginner I've never had any of these set up before ever so let's take a look at what's inside here this already has its own bag very nice but before we go in there there's not a box here Okay, in here, ho oh, ho, what do you know? Look at this, a strap on its own bag or in, on, on its own box. Blah, blah, blah. A strap on. Strap on. <laughs> a strap on. <laughs> so there's no reason. Strap in a box. Nice, okay. Put this aside for now. Oh, get away from you, man. Trying to take away the, uh... Anyway, so yeah, we have the strap. It looks like it's for the bag here. Uh, we'll put this aside for now. And... Let's take a look at the lens itself. What is this? I have no clue what this is. Y'all know what this is? Here we go. Let's take a look at what's inside the bag of the Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter F2.8 Mark II art lens. Ooh, nice. Feels kind of heavy. Could do some workout with this. This is the lens itself. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of videos and reviews about this and I've done um, a lot of researching myself uh, For the budget I had this was the most affordable. I know that the uh, the Sony uh, GM 2 is the go-to but it's just Off the roof with the price um, But this I've heard a lot of good things about this. So we'll give this a try again for anyone out there that has like tips and bits of photography, video videography, comment down below. Let me know like what I can do with these, this type of setting here. And uh, yeah, anyways, this is the lens that I've opt for. Uh, let's give this an open. Very cool. So here we have the autofocus manual focus uh, switch here very clicky and going along with clicky there is a uh, switch here called click or you know it says click here I don't know what that means but let's see oh it's for the aperture that's very helpful for keeping you in track of what aperture you're on. So if you're in a video, maybe have it off click and be more smooth with the uh, aperture. And then we have another switch here. Oh, what this does, oh. What is this for? Oh. Oh, this is too long. See, I'm very beginner here. This is to lock the aperture. And we have another uh, button here. Lock. So if you have that on, if, that, if you have that zoomed out, it looks like it locks out. So if you have it in your pocket or anything, it won't drool down <laughs> that makes sense anyways if you have it on lock oh if you have it on lock you could just zoom out and it clicks right away very cool feature I still don't know what these two buttons here do 
I'll have to find that out or if anybody knows comment down below let me know what these buttons do let's put this together and let's all see how it looks uh, set up for the memory card for now I opted out with the 80 gigabyte tough by Sony this goes the memory card next put on the battery and if I remember there's a dot on the lens and a dot on the where the camera lens goes in you line those up and twist dot lock feels good there we go and this looks like the hood for the lens here again let's line this up Voila. And that's how the camera looks with the lens. We have the uh, video mic go to by Rode. As you all know, I did a uh, unboxing of this microphone and uh, this is the microphone I'm going to be using for the uh, camera for now. And I think the uh, output goes right there. So instead of using the, I mean, we'll still use the iPhone 15 Pro in some situations, but now this is going to be our main setup. So the setup is, it's the Sony A7 Mark V uh, with the Sigma 24 70 millimeter f2.8 Mark II art lens with the uh, video mic go to um, microphone here. 